What is this? What, what am I doing? <laughs> this girl is so out of reality that we're just gonna have to chop her up. Um, oh, sir, look away. I have been tasked with robbing a bank. The Roberts Bank of Savings and Trust, to be specific. And I have been given a great array of tools and the guy that gave me the mission told me to follow the money trail. Um, somebody has had like a, a hole in their pocket or something because there's a money trail leading into the bank, which is where we're gonna go. And um, I've also been given this. Now, this looks like a normal smoke grenade, but I've been told that this is a supply crate grenade. So if I remove this, and I throw this on the ground, I should be given some more supplies from somewhere. Uh, I'd like to get some supplies. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, it's coming. Hey, I'm down here. Drop me some supplies. I'd, I'd like some, oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, immediately, my mind went to, can that hurt somebody? Like, as in, can I put somebody underneath this and it's gonna just pop their heads off or whatever? Yeah, you guys are gonna have to wait because I'm getting some... A pistol and some... some ru What is... This is not even... This is rubbish. Oh no, I know exactly what this is for. This is so that I can carry people in this case and bring them with me to the torture chamber that I'm gonna take them to later on. Okay, you know what? This pistol can be there. I might need it later on. But let's just, um, start things off slow. Let's just, uh... Pick up the money. Yeah. Hello? Can I, can I please pick up the money? Okay, the money is uh, unpickable, I guess. <laughs> Let's just run into here real quick. Let's just scout out the situation first. Let's be really incognito. I realized that I'm Spider-Man, so that's not probably gonna work. Hi, hi officers. Okay, so they've got security and they've got uh, some unexpecting males and females manning the uh, the counters. And there we've got the mother load. That's the, that's the gold I'm gonna go for. And then we've got some civilians over here. That's most likely the cashier, so she's just doing something different. I've seen everything. Why don't we shake this place to the ground? No, I didn't say that out loud. I just said it in my head, but those guys don't really care. Well, first things first, does this work? Ooh, but it does. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Put that over there. Nice. Now this is something that tricked my interest. Um, It is some, oh, buddy. Okie dokie. What is this? What, what am I doing? Huh. Now the police officer needs to be taken care of before anything else. Let's just grab a magazine from over there. Put this bad boy in there. Load this up. And then we're going to go say hello to the police officer. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ow! And we got one taken care of. <laughs> oh, he just got up. Okay, that's not good. Um, okay, maybe another shot will do it. Here we go. And you... Boom! I hit the flower. Okay, that's not gonna cut it. Let's go on to the bigger guns. Straight into your face! St straight into your... Face! There we go. Oh, I did it. I got him. Okie dokie. You didn't see anything! Ha ha ha! There you go. Nothing to see here, fellow citizens, but this, it's a robbery. You're not supposed to be nice to me, okay? You there, hand me over all your money. You've got some credit cards over there, and I know that this place over here has some money in it. I want let you just be right back. These guys are not threatened by anything. So I think I need to inflict some fear into them by using the 50 caliber gun and the chainsaw. Oh, buddy. They better give me the money. Otherwise, there's gonna be a bloodshed. Okay, right then. You think you're safe behind this glass? Do you? This little glass of yours? It's not safe from a 50 caliber pistol, you dumbass. It might actually... X, Y, Z? What? Okay, this girl is so out of reality that we're just gonna have to chop her up. There's no other way to go about it. Um, oh, sir, look away. Yes, this chainsaw is not that good. Oh, yes, it works. <laughs> no, stay down, stick, stick, stick down, stay down. There you go. Stay the hell down. Stay down, you floppy. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for asking, but you're not so well. Okay, um, I'm just gonna steal all the money then. There we go, we got $20 bill, $20 bills in the, in the little place here. We've got another, oh, suitcase that is closed. Yeah, that's probably gonna have a lot of money in it. Okay, here we go, we're gonna take this. There's a bunch of gold bars over here as well. We're not really gonna care about them at all. And, um, I might, I, I thought that I was gonna... Mm. Well, I can't leave you any witnesses now, can I? Move, please! 
You're the stupid one, bitch. Do you have anything to say to me? You look kind of scared, huh? Are you afraid of the pistol? You saw what I did to all your friends over here, huh? You work in the bank, don't you? So, um, just to, just to, you know, make sure that nobody lives to tell the story. We're just gonna have to end it the hard way. I'm really sorry. Oh! I just realized. You're gonna be my test subject. <laughs> yes! You are very unfortunate to be here today with me, the bank robber Spider-Man. If you all remember, I got a case outside with your name on it and you're just small and petite enough to fit in it. So we're gonna take you and we're gonna go somewhere jolly and have a lot of fun. So just stay in there. Please just tranquilizer. That should do it. Welcome to my house. Now, of course, I wouldn't take you to anywhere else but my house because the things that we're gonna do together are not something that regular people should see, even though I do got some neighbors hanging around over here, but I've never seen any of them just snoop around and look at me, so we are totally safe, you and I. Now, where should I start? Because do I've got an array of things to try out here. Let's start things out by strapping you down to the table like this. There you go. Okay. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Just stay. Stay down. Stay down. St I've got a board gun with your name on it, girl. Son of a... Come on, just stay there. Okay, here we go. Yes, yes. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm so, I'm getting her. There we go. All right. Now you can't get up from that, Shirley, because I've got a board. Um, yeah, yeah, she's stuck. Okay, cool. And then, ooh, we can use whatever we want. This, uh, this is like a a sword that does a really good. You got out. Good on you, girl. Good on you. I've got a, I've got a sword here that is a little strange on my. Oh. Uh, so I've swapped out the clerk to Ford because Ford, Ford is technically the only one that is able to withstand my uh, methods to some degree at least. He's um he's a little bit more sturdy than you know the fragile other gender. So let's just continue where we left off. This is a is something. It's a nostalgic pistol. Do you want to know what this feels like against your groin? Probably not too good, does it? No, it hurts a little bit, doesn't it? So we're gonna leave that over there. It was pretty cool. Yeah, you were, you handled that quite well. Also, if everything goes sideways and Ford here accidentally, <clears throat> accidentally dies, uh, I've got a life syringe over there, life sword, because you know, syringes are so yesterday. So I'm gonna put that into your butt and you're gonna be all good. You're gonna revive and it's all gonna be, you know, we're gonna do all kinds of weird stuff again and again and again. Um, this board gun here is, it's kind of cool, but I can't really attach this to you, which I really wanted to do. So it's here now. Great, let's just take a face and smack into it then, huh? You like this, don't you? Smacking into a metal beam of metal. Oh boy. Oh, I went over it again. Oh God, okay. Well, it's time we, what was that sound? Oh, Claymore. Okay, we need to, can't forget about that. Okay, let's get this over here. Let's just hope this works then. Last time I did it, it didn't work too well. Okay, Ford, get back to life. And you're good to go. Oh, okay, good. just hit me a couple of times and we're good. We're good friends then again, aren't we? Yeah, hit me one more time and I'll kill you. You bitch, son of a gun. You think you can do that to me? Oh my God, no, no, Ford, you son of a gun. You actually, you little bitch. Hello there. You thought you could get away from me that easily, didn't you? Well, let me tell you something. Over there, we've got a bunch of bloodthirsty nobodies, and they are eager to eat your flesh. And all this because you decided to end me just when I was about to have some fun. So I'm going to end you by throwing you to the wolves. See you later. Um, I might have miscalculated that because he actually died. Well, we've got a solution for that. You see this? is the blade of life. And if I drop it over here, it should hit Ford right in the back and it should be, oh, he's not okay. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go down here and superhero landing. Great. And then we're gonna put this sword back into Ford and he's not gonna, but, but, I'm gonna put it in the butt. I'm gonna put it in the butt. There you go. And he's not gonna know what hit him. Oh, he's gonna come straight for me, isn't he? Oh, he's not. He's not gonna come straight for me. Perfect, straight. To the nobodies. There you go. How about it, boys? Eat him up. He's all yours, because he ended me in the previous run, and that's not okay. Good job, nobodies. I'm going to throw this straight on the nobodies, and they are not going to know what hit him, because they're going to get a drop on them. <laughs> okay. 
Any second now, you little scumbags are not gonna know what hit you. Spider-Man, that's who hit you. Ah, oh, webbing. Here we go. Okay, drop incoming. Oh, it's coming right over here. Not exactly where I wanted it. Okay, come on. Come on. Son of a... Okay, maybe it has some good loot in it. Um... Oh god, it's a little bit... Not, uh, oh, it's the same thing. It's just it's just a random pistol. This is not gonna cut it. Ford. Hi there. Welcome back to reality. I actually went to the bank and I borrowed a little bit more of Ford tokens so I can use you again. This is a chainsaw. You don't like the chainsaw, do you? No, you do not. I'm wondering if there's a way for me to tune this somehow and make it even more deadlier. So I had a good long thought about what would make this chainsaw best. So sorry. Okay, punch me one time. One time! And then we can be friends one time. Not okay. Listen, listen, bitch. The son of a gun. Come on, man. Listen, there you go. You're not you, you little scumbag. I was gonna use this. A perfectly functional cannon. How good can this be, right? Um, do you just put a cannonball in there like this? There you go. Well, and does it? How does it work? Can it do I just? How do I? How do I shoot it? Um, okay. I know exactly how I shoot it. But first, we're gonna board it down to the ground because this thing is gonna move and we don't want it moving too much now do we this is how we make it uh go off we shoot it in the back shoot it over there um okay this is how do i make this hello i need to figure out how this works oh maybe the cannon doesn't want to shoot at nothing maybe the cannon wants somebody to shoot at which is why we now have a ford over there okay how do i actually make this fire i want to fire you i figured it out i got it working I just do that, okay? And I can I can shoot whatever I want out of this cannon as long as it fits in the barrel. This here is an item scaler, and I can use this to scale any item to any size. Now, if you can picture this, it's a chainsaw. It's a little bit too big, but I want I want it to be a little bit smaller so I can fit in the cannon and show you in your face exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna waste any time. We're gonna go straight into this. We're gonna take it, we're gonna put it in the little item scaler here, and we're gonna son of a gun. There you go. And then we make it smaller, like that. Look at this! A tiny chainsaw! But this is perfect! Because this is exactly the kind of chainsaw that fits inside of a barrel. Yes! Nothing fits inside that barrel though, except that. Okay, now I need something to poke this in with. Okay, here we go, into the cannon you go, just like that. How how deep in it? Oh, it's perfect. Okay, maybe I can just help it a little bit. There you go. Oh, just like that. Oh, it's right there. It's right at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be glorious, Ford. You're going to love this to bits. Okay, if you could just turn around a little bit, that is perfect. Okie dokie, this is the moment we all have been, well, I say we all, I have been waiting for, oh god, there's, it's still attached to that thing. Where, where's my, uh, where's my thing? There you go, don't be attached anymore, there you go. Just, all right, now I do realize that this is gonna shoot the thing straight in your dick. Oh! <laughs> it worked! It shot the chainsaw out of the barrel and it killed Ford. It, it did. Where's the chainsaw? Where is it? Where did it fling off to? Is it? It's embedded in him. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. It worked like a charm. 